All right, guys, uh, welcome to Sidewinder. Here today, we're going to be showing you how to uh, turn up the next step for your hydroponic aeroponic system. Um, what we're going to be doing is creating a fogger. Um, this is actually my front door aeroponic system. It's half aeroponic, half hydroponic. Of course, we all run into the issues of the, uh, the clogging of the, the water sprayers, but uh, with that in mind, that's why I ended up creating a cheap version of a fogger. Now, this will keep you from having to spend about 350 bucks for the Nutrimist systems or anything like that. Now, granted, it's not great as good as those, and it's top fed versus bottom fed, but uh, this will definitely do for any system you guys have. Um, first thing we're going to do is I actually created one here, but unfortunately, I have a two system unit, so only one chamber is actually getting the fog. But I'll show you what I'm going to make here in one second. Let's just see what it's doing in here. You can actually see the fog coming out of it already. But what it does is it creates 100% 100, 100 uh, humidity within the chamber. Uh, all of that mist is neutrified. It gives it a much better chance of being absorbed through the uh, roots of pretty much anything you have planted. Um, that big honking thing right there happens to be a four month old tomato plant cut back many times. But uh, as you can see, it actually reaches the end of the chamber also. I just opened it up a second ago so it all came out, but <laughs> it does work, I promise. Um, what we're going to be doing, the tools we're going to need, are pretty simple. Uh, we need a vinyl post. Uh, these are decently cheap, depending on the size of your unit, of course. Big ones, small ones. I actually chose a small one for a smaller chamber. Uh, more mist comes out that way. But uh, vinyl post, we need two end caps for the vinyl post. Of course, some glue, and this is aquarium glue. Uh, all of this can be bought at any hardware store. A um, couple things cannot. Uh, this right here, bulkheads, half inch bulkheads. Did have to order those about four bucks a piece, about four bucks, about four bucks a piece. Uh, the holes need to be drilled are three inch and inch and a half. Uh, you can use these or for the smaller one if you want. Oops, sorry, inch and a quarter. <laughs> Glad I checked. But that's all you're going to need to get started. Uh, the last thing you're going to probably want to order ahead of time is off of eBay. It's probably going to be the best place you can get it. This is the actual nerdulizer. Um, search for foggers. It's really the easiest way to get it. Really simple. This is a single node. There are three nodes and five nodes. Uh, you can get a single node at a decent price for about, um, gosh, can't be more than 20, 25 bucks. But uh, as you can see, the, the smoke just drops down the hole. And the way it comes out, if I can get this thing out here. Just points out. Continuous flow. Now, one thing we're going to have to do is it does have to feed in from the water. So one line just goes in there and drops water from the top. Constantly drops in to feed the nerdulizer. Uh, don't forget that. Otherwise, you'll have no water in there. All right, let's get started. Right, first thing you want to do is make sure you get your measurements right. Otherwise, when you set it up here, it's going to be unbalanced and leak and uh, do all kinds of stuff you don't want it to. So what we're going to do is we're just going to check. We're actually going to measure from the outside of both of the chambers. Now we know these are three inch cups um, from my video before of how I actually made this thing here. So we're going to measure, it's exactly 10 and a half inches from cup to cup. From outside of this cup to the outside of this cup. So once again, we know these are three inches large. So we want to be at half inch in and a half inch in. So we take 10 and a half minus three inches, we put us in the middle of each cup. Now you'll also have to measure from the cup to the outside of the chamber, because that's how far your end caps are going to be from the cup. So we're looking at about an inch there. Not too hard. First we're going to take our final fence post. Once again, very easy, very cheap. You can get it at Lowe's, Home Depot, all those fun places. Uh, we are actually going to turn this in to a larger one of those units there. Um, first, with our measurements, we're going to cut this. We're going to drill two access holes with our measurements that we measured from here, remember 10 and a half minus 3. Uh, that will give us uh, the holes for the, uh, the smoke to come out of. Um, after that, we need one large access hole, 3 inch hole, at least something we can get our hands in on the top side. If you prefer, you can actually do two right above the other two access holes if you wish. Either way, actually works. There's more work the other way. All right, so here we go. Now that we've done that, uh, we're going to move on to our final product here. Uh, this is the base structure. 
As you can see, we have our one large three inch access over the top. Doesn't really matter where that's placed. Uh, and then our two other ones, oops, our two other ones down the bottom. Now I've already placed one of the, the uh, bulkheads in the hole. Now I chose to do, do mine upside down simply because of the height of my system, but uh, it doesn't really matter. That's just where the smoke's coming out of. Um, so what we'll do is we screw this in here. Make sure your seals are tight. And perfect. Uh, once this is finished, you've got both of them on. Uh, now, when you want, check it out. Make sure your measurements are there. If not, keep it ahead. Next thing is the end caps. Uh, we need to get that aquarium glue. Let it completely dry. It needs at least, uh, depending on the humidity, uh, three to five hours. Um, best to make sure it's completely dry. Uh, you're going to take your aquarium glue. You're going to coat the complete inside of your cap, right into there, all along the edge. Nice, big, thick piece. And once you get that in there, just slide this in, hold it there. If you can, put your hand in this side, and you can actually smear the glue around to make sure the seal's there. Don't have to worry about it too much, just don't hit it after it started drying. Uh, do the same thing to the other side, and we'll get our seal and move forward from there. All right, well, this is the final product. Uh, we have our large hole here. Pull water, stick your hand in, change the sign. Uh, on the inside, we have our uh, bulkheads. Now, I also went in and put in a, uh, a piece of PVC about that tall. It's about a half of an inch inside your bulkhead to make it level enough to where the, uh, the nervulator won't overheat. Um, also, well, that's it, basically. Oh, unless you have to do a little modification, which I tend to do. Once again, more PVP action, just to be able to direct the smoke properly. Down into the lamp, but let's get a heartbeat. So we've got it installed, put it in the position. Um, once again, the nervulizer, get it on eBay. Just search Fogger Mister. Drop it in. Don't forget to put in your water feed, too. Very important. And that's that. Turn it on. Now, the way the nervulizer works is the warmer the water gets, the uh, more mist comes out of it. But, looks like that's it for tonight. Uh, thank you guys for looking. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Don't forget to rate. Um, and check out SciWire.com for more.